Hey guys, this is the second video in lesson two and hopefully you're doing great. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask them. Um, now we're looking at things that are a little bit different than what we've been looking at in the last um, few videos. But think about this. Are we going to see the same shifts in the place value chart if we multiply by 30 instead of multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000? Hmm. Think about that. Okay. Well, let's write 30 so we can see 10 as the factor. All right. 30 is equal to 3 times 10, right? So we're going to find the 10 inside of the 30 so that we can still do some of the shifting when we multiply, okay? So this is 48 times 3 times 10. And if you don't have space to write it, then you can just do it like that, where you have to drop below or above. And we are on number 7, so please make sure you're writing it on number 7 on page 17. Okay, so now we have 48 times 3 times 10, right? Now what is 48 times 3? Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of our multi-digit multiplication that we worked on. 48 times 3, right? 8 times 3 is 24, carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2. So 48 times 3 is 144. So let's go ahead and now write over here 144 times 10, because we still have our 10 left over from over here, right? So instead of having to do 48 times 30, we can just do 48 times 3 and then multiply that by 10. Now, when we multiply 48 times 10, I'm sorry, 144 times 10, what do we need to do there? Hmm. I think we might have it. Um, let me see. Okay, so we're going to shift it to the right by one place value, right? So look at your place value chart. And you know what? I am going to clear this so that we can go to the place value chart in the next slide. There we go. Okay. So we have, you should have this already written, right? 48, oops, times 3 times 10. And then 48 times 3 is 144 times 10. Okay, so now we're going to put it in our place value chart. Do you see 1 in the hundreds place and 4 in the tens place and 4 in the ones place? Okay, so now we're just going to move each one of them over to multiply by 10. So the hundreds place is going to go to the thousands. The tens place is going to go to the hundreds, and the ones place is going to go to the tens. So that's going to be 1,440. Okay, do you see that, how that works? So we're just moving everything over. Now make sure that you're writing that in number seven. Okay, awesome. All right, let's go to number eight. Okay, number eight. 48 times 300. Okay, very similar to what we just did. 48 times 3 times 100. Okay, do you see how that works? Now, what was 48 times 3 from the last problem? 144, right? So this part is already done times 100. Okay, so now we're going to go to the place value chart again and do this part of the problem. Make sure you have this part written in number eight 
on page 17 on your book. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to copy it over. That would be nice. What if I just, oh, it's going to go away when I do that. Okay. So here we have the place value chart so nicely for us. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So now we have um, 144 times 100, right? You have this all written in already, but I just have to copy it over. So there's 100. Here's our four tens, right? Four tens, 144. Okay, you're welcome to do that if you need to. There's no problem with that. But you see 100, four tens, and four ones. Now we're going to multiply by 10 two times because we're multiplying by 100. Okay, so you see we're taking our ones and it's becoming tens and then it's becoming hundreds. Then we're taking our tens and it's becoming hundreds and then it's becoming thousands. And then we're taking our hundreds and it's becoming thousands and then it's becoming ten thousands. So 144 is going to be 14,400. Do you see that? Because our one is now in the ten thousands place. Our four is in the thousands place. Our four is in the hundreds place. And of course, we still have to put zeros here to fill in so that we have our places in the right place value. Okay, if you're stuck on that, feel free to pause it, ask for help, right? Okay, and we're going to be moving on. Um, yep, we're moving on to number nine. Excellent job, everybody. Okay, number nine. 48 times 3,000. Okay, so it's going to be the same process, right? And we're still using 48 times 3. So you know what? I'm going to go to the next one, I think, just so I don't have to rewrite it. Yeah. Okay, so 48 times 3,000, that's the same as 48 times 3 times 3. 1,000. So we just want to get that um, power of 10 separated out from the 3. And that's what goes in this box right here on page 17. 48 times 3 times 1,000. Now we already know what 48 times 3 is. It's 144, right? Now we're multiplying by 1,000. Yes. And then we're going to put it into our place value chart. I wonder if I could highlight. Here's our one. Yep, there's our one. Here's our 40. And here's our four, right? Because we started with 144. So you're always going to put in what you're starting with. And then you're going to multiply by 10. You can start with your hundreds and multiply by 10. Or you can start with your ones and multiply by 10. I think it's kind of up to you. Let's start with our hundreds this time, right? And we're more than multiplying by 10. We're multiplying by 10 three times. 10 times 10 times 10, because that's the same as 1,000, right? So we're going one, two, three. And now we're landing in the hundred thousands place. Same thing with our 40, one, two, three, landing in the ten thousands place. And our ones, one, two, three, landing in our thousands place. So now we have 144,000. Don't forget the zeros or it's not really 144,000, right? Okay, and that is number nine. Awesome job. Now we're going to go on to number 10 on page 18. And we just have... Um, 10, 11, 12, 13, we're going to do together, and then you're going to do 14 and 15 on your own for some practice. But now we're dividing. So we have, sorry, we have 270,000 divided by 10. 
270,000 divided by 10. Okay, so we can use our place value chart, right? And we can put in our 270,000. Let's get our dots. 200, how many do we have? We have two. And 70, one, two, three, come on, four, five, six, seven. Okay, remember we want to put five in a row so they're easier to count. And nothing else. We don't need to put zeros because we have 200 and we have 10,000. I mean 70,000. Okay, now we're dividing by 10. So are we moving to the left or are we moving to the right? Is it getting bigger or is it getting smaller? You're right, it's getting smaller just by one. So we're just moving this guy over one and this guy over one. Let me grab a different color. Let's get orange. And now we have two in the 10,000s place and seven in the thousands place. Okay, so now we have 20, seven thousand okay we divided by 10 we moved to the right everything shifted by one and got smaller so 200,000 divided by 10 is 27,000 all right let's go to the next one now we have 270,000 divided by 100 right hopefully you're using your place value chart to already fill that in so we have 200, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 70,000 divided by 100. So that's the same as 270,000 divided by, divided by 10 times 10 because 10 times 10 is the same as 100. So we're going to go two times right? So now our seven is over here. And we're going to go two times. So now our two is over here. So now our two is in the thousands place. And our seven is in the hundreds place. 2,700. Okay, make sure you're writing that down for number 11. All right, catching on, I hope. All right, number 12. 270,000 divided by 1,000. Okay, so 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Make sure you're putting that on your place value chart. And dividing, so we're going to the right. It is getting smaller, right? And how much smaller? This is 270,000 divided by 10 times 10 times 10, right? 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. Okay, so now we're going three jumps. One, two, three. So now our seven is in the tens place. Seven and one, two, three. Now our two is in the hundreds place. So 270,000 divided by 1,000 is 270, right? That makes sense. Okay, excellent job. And number 13, the last one that we're going to do together. Now we have 270,000 divided by 30. Ooh, remember the 30 that we did before? Yeah. Sorry. I thought I might have a place value chart. So that's the same as 270,000 divided by 3 times 10. Okay. Ooh, that's a little tricky, isn't it? 270,000 divided by 2 times 10, 3 times 10. Yeah? Think about what you're going to do about that. Okay. Hmm. 
going to look at those three problems right there. 270 divided by 30, 270 divided by 300, 270 divided by 3,000. Right? We're going to have the same pattern again. Yeah? So what is 270 divided by 10? Mm-hmm. We're just going to move it over one time. 27,000, right? If you're looking at your place value chart, you're just moving it over one time, okay? And then dividing that by three. Do you know what 27 divided by three is? Nine thousand. So 270 divided by three is 9,000, okay? So think about that for numbers 13 and 14. See if you can do those on your own and then make sure you bring this to me for with your notes, okay? And we will do one more video with a little bit of work on the problem set, okay? Thanks for your hard work. See you there.